This is a sneaky time reading where we're gonna get right to the point. We're not gonna be messing around. Yes, my shirt is backwards. Yes, it is inside out. Don't search for me, cause I'm going in my heart, that's a hole, yeah. And in my head. Welcome back to my channel. So I am sneaking in a quick message because I got this download like not even 10 minutes ago and um, softball got canceled. So I was getting ready to like head out the door and it got canceled, but my husband's already there like hanging out with his friends. And so normally when softball's in season, I don't film on certain days. And at least I say I'm not going to. So I'm being really sneaky right now. So this is a sneaky time reading where we're gonna get right to the point. We're not gonna be messing around. Yes, my shirt is backwards. Yes, it is inside out. I hadn't changed yet to leave for the game, but um, nonetheless, I'm still an empress. Anyways, you guys are learning how to transmute pain. So something I was thinking about, you guys are transmuting pain and you're turning it into different things. You're doing a lot of healing right now. You guys are leaps and bounds from the person that you used to be, but there are certain aspects of your old self that you're thinking about and you might still be implementing some of it because it's cute or it's funny or it helps you take these leaps forward. So what I mean by that is growing up, I was a very sneaky child. Like what I'm doing right now, that's sneaky. Now, is it the worst thing that I could be doing? No, obviously not. But do I try to hide it from my husband a little bit? Cause I'm like, oh, I wasn't working. I am not a workaholic. I am a workaholic and God knows I'm a workaholic. And because God knows I'm that, I got a download. God thought I had time today or at least a little bit of time to give me this reading and not get in that much trouble. So we're like partners in this situation. I love it. You guys are starting to talk, take, if I could talk, you guys are starting to take risks. And you're looking at certain versions of yourself where you just left. You didn't think about it. You didn't overthink. You didn't overanalyze. You just went for it. And that's what I did. I was like, okay, God's given me a download. I can do the filming tomorrow, but do I know my husband's going to hang out with his friends for a little bit? Yes. Do I know that I just finished getting ready and that I can film without a microphone and everything that I absolutely need on my checklist? Yes, I can. So am I fil filming with all my lighting? No. Am I using my microphone? No. Hope the sound is okay. But yeah, I just am looking at you are learning how to take risk and you're taking certain aspects that made you brave as a child and you're implementing that now. It's also helping with your psychic abilities and it's helping with your connection to the divine, helping with your connection to the creator or God, um, whatever your belief system is. All belief systems are welcome here. We do not shame others for their belief system. And I don't put up with it in the comments if you guys are new. Uh, most of you guys already know that, but I was looking at it like God just gave me this download and I'm thinking about how I'm going to be sneaky to do it. So what I used to do as a child is um, when my parents were married, my mom would take all of our birthday presents, Christmas presents, and she would hide them in the closet and we weren't allowed to, well, at least I wasn't, I think my sister was, but I wasn't allowed to. So I suffered different um, abuse and trauma that than my sister did. And I remember like anytime we had a babysitter, anytime my mom was taking a nap, I would get a chair, I would sneak to the top of the closet and I would just stare. I would just stare at my gifts. And I still have aspects of that in me now as an adult, like being sneaky, even though I'm not, you know, really doing anything wrong and I'm not going to get in trouble for it. But it's like this agreement I have with myself, like you need to do everything on your schedule and you don't, you didn't, you don't have time to pull everything out on your checklist for how you like to film. And I'm like, you know what? F it. I'm going to take the risk. God gave me the download. I'm going to deliver it. Is it going to be perfect the way that I would want it to be? No. And then I went to go hit record and I'm like, my shirt's inside out, whatever. It's fine. I know you guys don't mind. You guys are realizing where you are truly the empress in your life. You are stepping into this divine feminine energy where you are ready to receive instead of thinking that you have to go obtain it every which way from Sunday. Maybe you guys are like me and you're also a workaholic. I was also getting that for the download. 
but you guys are learning how to really take care of yourself. You're learning how to mother yourself. You are learning how to cope in different ways. You're building a lot of strength, a lot of strength. So there were some people that were speaking dirt on your name. And I'm getting that not only are you not letting this bother you, because this could be coworkers, this could be a boss, this could be a parent, whoever these people are to you, who, whatever enemy this is, you guys could be having dreams about them right now. Okay, so I want you guys to comment down below if you are, if this message is for you. You guys could be having dreams or nightmares about this person that's been speaking dirt on your name and that's because your psychic abilities are growing and you're becoming more in tune and more aware of what could be going on in that other person's life or them trying to attack you in the dream state or them trying to attack you in your day-to-day -day life. And you're taking that dream or that nightmare and you're looking at it like, okay, I didn't like that but I'm seeing now what their intentions were. It's like a window. You're being shown like this could have been their intentions of something that they wanted to destroy in your life. This could have been their intentions of just some type of damage they wanted to do and them not being successful. So I'm seeing that there's a veil being lifted for whoever I'm speaking to. Your psychic abilities are amplified right now. That's something that you were being gifted by God, being gifted by the divine, being gifted by the universe is your gifts being amplified. Second, you're just feeling more connected. This is helping you build your confidence to do things you would not normally do. I want you guys to comment down below. I am ready to take risks. I am leaps and bounds from the person that I used to be. I am braver than yesterday. Okay, comment down below. I am braver than yesterday. Nothing they do is going unnoticed. Somebody needs to hear this. Whoever has been giving you a really hard time for a long period of time, whether this is a troll, an enemy, a family member, God or the divine wants you to know that the things and the steps that you're making to move forward from what people have done to you is not being, um, is not going unnoticed. And then the people that have been doing dirt continuously and have not dealt with their karma yet or you have, you feel like you haven't at least seen it really and you're trying in your heart to forgive them and to move on god wants you to know that is not going unnoticed okay god wants you to know that nothing that they do is going unnoticed they're not getting away with anything they're just racking and stacking it up they're racking and stacking their charges you feel me and um it just reminds me of like when I was in my addiction and I just was not a good person. I was extremely selfish. It was like my way or the highway. And then I jumped into a bunch of toxic relationships and, um, and I was also toxic in those relationships and super codependent. But as I was doing that, I thought that I was invincible being a drug addict. I thought I'm on top of the world. I'm invincible. Can't, no, can't nobody tell me nothing. That's a different type of confidence. It's false. It's not really healing and then feeling confident. That's a completely different feeling. You guys know what I'm saying? Like when you heal and then you become confident, that's like a game changer. But when you're high and you feel confident, you're like, this is going to go away. I want to feel like this forever. And I was in my addiction for years and years and years and years and an alcoholic for years and years and years. And I was the victim and I was selfish and I always pointed the finger and it was never my fault. And at the time, I, even though I felt invincible, I dealt with karma and I was stacking up my charges in and out of jail stacking up charges and then in the 3d stacking up charges and going against what god intended for me to do but i needed to go through that period of sadness and darkness to get back to the light like i was in a period of light went to the dark and then got back to the light side so now being in my sobriety for a long time i just look at it like when you are it's kind of like a narcissist a narcissist karma can take forever to come in because they believe their own bullshit. So kind of like when you're high and you believe your own bullshit and you be telling yourself everything's fine, it can be slower for that karma to take place. But once you start stepping towards the light and you're doing dirt, you get smacked down freaking fast. I remember when I would try to get sober, 
and the days that I would relapse, like God had something in a hopper for my ass. Every time I was on the right track and I was like, let me just see if I could just take a sippy sip, do a drink any drink, do a whatever. God was like, where, where, where do you think you're going? And I feel like the consequences then were much harsher because I was trying to walk the line. So I started to realize that those deeds were not going to go unpunished. It's almost like I could run amok when I was in the dark for forever and I felt like invincible. But as soon as I started stepping towards the light, it was like I was held accountable on another level and ended up getting me tossed into jail and getting into um, situations that I really shouldn't have been putting myself in. And it's because I was doing really, really good and then would go back. So God wants you to know that like anything that they're doing, it's not, even if it seems like it's taking forever for them to get dealt with, it's not going unnoticed. Okay. That can also tell you that they don't have any intention of doing things the right way because they're always doing things the wrong way. I hope that makes sense. Like they're just always thinking that they're invisible. So I'm getting that the people that you're dealing with definitely have substance issues. Okay. And I know that sounds really specific, but I feel like they hide it. So what I'm being specifically shown is something that they're drinking and something that they're popping. It could be both or one or the other. I feel like they are taking like diet pills or um, some type of upper. It could be like Adderall or something, or uh, maybe they're taking xanax or they're popping something they're hiding it they're trying to seem functional but to you because you see through so much shit you're just like nah and i'm getting right now that you're not even really focused on them because what you're focused on right now is your family your um twin flame union your children you guys are focused on your happiness and the people that have really rode for you there are people in your life that have really done a lot for you and that's what you're going to be revisiting. So as a veil is being lifted, where you're seeing through what certain Decepticons wanted to do things in your life, you are also revisiting the past of things that you did as a child or ways that you acted very brave as a child. You're going to be implementing that into your life. So some inner child healing as well. But you're also going to be looking at the past like, wow, these are the people that I need to recognize that have done a lot for me. And so it's a renewal that you're going through. You're entering this renewal, this new chapter, this new era of your life that is about to be extraordinary. Like whoever I'm speaking to, you are a goat. I'm gonna say that again. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are the greatest of all time. Comment down below, I am on my goat behavior. I am entering a new era. I am the empress and success will always find me. I'm getting that you guys have a lot of success coming in. Whatever you guys just started doing, keep doing it. Okay, whatever you guys started doing, whether it's praying more, um, cleansing more, going out in nature, all of the things that you are doing good that are making you feel present and happy, keep up the good work. Like you guys are doing incredible things right now you are transmuting pain okay you are transmuting pain you are trans uh transmuting failure and pain into your limitless future so some of you guys um that are on your goat behavior you could have had toxic parents or toxic people that helped raise you and you guys might have had to do a lot of self-soothing as a child. And now you guys might be revisiting that thinking like, oh my gosh, like look how far I've come. I could have ended up somewhere completely different. Okay. You could have ended up some somewhere completely different. Maybe there were people all along your path in your earlier life that were trying to detour you or derail you from thinking that you were a god, a goddess, an emperor, or an empress. I was also seeing um, God hid you in plain sight, okay? These people are wishing death and they are butthurt, okay? They are butthurt. You guys got some people butthurt and in their feelings because you have them on the pain -oh mind list. I'm so proud of you guys. This takes a lot of work for the people that have been attacking you the most that you put them on the pain -oh mind list because you're starting to see through this veil being lifted like that whatever they wanted for you was far worse. 
Like say they tried to cause disruption in your relationship or disruption in your money. You're starting to see that like they wanted you to lose your home. They wanted your person for themselves. Like you're starting to see some crazy shit as the veil is being lifted. I was also getting something about flickering lights. If you guys watched the last two readings, I was dealing with flickering lights and that's not something I ever, ever, ever deal with. Also with hitting a bird. And so I had filmed the video the day before and a lot of you guys were like, I hit a bird yesterday and it was the same day. So if you guys are watching this, just know that it happened the same day. If you guys had flickering lights, it also happened the same day. It is crazy. You guys are the eagle spirit and you are leveling up big spiritually, like bigger than ever. Like you guys can feel that you are on the brink of something crazy, something magnetic, something like, you know that your life is about to change. Comment down below. Everything always works out for me. My life is about to change. I am so excited. I'm so excited for you guys. So I was watching um, Avatar, uh, the first one, which is crazy. I watched the second one first and then watched the first one. I know there were a lot of movies, you guys, like even though I love movies, there were a lot of movies that I missed in the time period of my addiction, especially when my addiction was really bad. And that was one of those movies, unfortunately. So I finally sat down. I was like, OK, I'm ready. I'm ready to watch it. And so I watched it. And I'm seeing that they're like trying to like sneak away into the mountains so they can try to get into their pods to become the avatar. And I thought, I was like tugging on my husband's shirt. I'm like, are those their sneaky time pods? Like they get in the helicopter. Michelle Rodriguez is like taking them like up to the mountain. Like we have pods down here, but we're going to steal this plane and get into the other pods in the mountains where they can't find us. And then you guys can go help with this war with them taking down the trees in, um, Pandora and I just kept thinking I'm like babe those are their sneaky time pods he's like you would know you're the sneakiest you love being sneaky they're like it's something I, I I still do from like being a child like look what I'm doing right now I'm filming should I be filming no I should not be but I'm doing it anyways I'm doing it anyways there's a lot that you guys are reconciling with your childhood with your past I watched the first avatar it's like I'm reconciling with my past and the things that I did in my addiction and the things that I missed in my addiction. And, um, oh, I caught it, you guys, I caught it. And the wailing tree. Some of you guys are going to need to cry it out. You're going to need to cry it out. The other day, you guys, I cried so hard because I was thinking about, um, I was trying to reconcile the fact that my dad did a lot of crazy things in my childhood that I tried to overlook and put him on a pedestal when that's not what I should have been doing. So I was reconciling that and I needed to purge and I needed to cry out things that he did that were not okay to do. Um, my dad was on a lot of drugs after my parents divorced and he put me in a lot of um, questionable situations and... I don't want to get into it, but you guys know what I mean. I was reconciling the fact like, hey, he was not a good person. I should have, shouldn't have been putting him on this pedestal. He was dealing drugs. He was a drug addict. Um, he was partying all the time and he left me. He abandoned me. He neglected me. I was malnourished. Um, and yeah, it was just not, not good. The universe is your partner. Something I knew when I was very small is I was like, God's got me. And then I would pray like, God, if you love me and things are going to be okay, will you make the sun, the sun come out, you know, on days that it was overcast. And so you guys are getting back to this childlike nature and you're implementing that in your adult life and it's bringing magic in. It's literally bringing magic in. So I said this in another video and I'm going to say it again because I know it will help somebody. I want you guys to think about two things that you really wanted as a child. I don't care if it's a freaking power wheels, a ring pop, a mood ring. I specifically last week bought a mood ring because it was something I couldn't have as a child. And I want you guys to really think about two things that you know you can afford now that would mean everything to you. And it doesn't matter if you're going to use them or not. I mean, it would be good if you did, but it's not going to be the end of, end of the world if you don't. I just feel like it's going to be a way to heal and, and be very therapeutic. A lot of you guys um, know the story of like my mom taking our presents. So we would open them in front of all the guests. And this was in my earlier life before everything went, really went to shit in my parents' lives. Um, 
you know, like in a mob movie, they're like, it's like the good times with like dealing with the drugs and the money's flowing and everything's good. And then it, go, it goes to shit. So like, this is like the good part. And so we're opening all of our gifts in front of these friends. And then, you know, everyone leaves and the gifts go bye-bye. You know, how do you explain that to a five-year-old that the gifts are going away in the closet? And I'm trying to like peek and look at them, but I'm never going to be able to wear them. There was a Little Mermaid watch that I wanted so bad to wear. It had Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian on it. And my mom was never going to let me wear it. So one day I told my husband about it and I was crying and crying. Like, I don't understand. Like, what the hell is wrong with her? And he's like, cry it out. You're good. You're good. He went on eBay and found me the watch. And now I have it. And from time to time I wear it just to remind me, like, look how far I've come. I want you guys to comment down below. Look how far I've come. You guys have been going through an initiation. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you have been going through a test. You've been going through an initiation where God is seeing like, okay, what are they going to do? Are they going to do things differently? Are they going to really start raising the bar? Are they going to take risks? Are they going to pray more? Are they going to have more gratitude? Like what, like, what is it? Like seeing if you're going to be consistent. See if you're going to stay on path. And now you guys are being granted this new era of blessings, of miraculous shit. I don't even know how else to explain it. And it's the beginner's mind. Like you feel like, you know, when you're like really happy and it's like you're still innocent still when you're younger. And then you start figuring out the stuff about like Santa Claus and all these things that aren't real. That's where you guys are going to. You're going to be feeling like you have this fresh brain, this these fresh eyes, this fresh view in the, on the world and how to help in any way that you can. And so there's a veil um, that you are repairing. There is pain that you are transmuting. You guys maybe don't like new beginnings, uh, maybe from having to be in survival mode. All you guys really, really want is stability and for things to be calm and predictable. I get that. I'm that bitch. And as much as I, as I would like to be like, oh, let me live life on the edge. My life was on the edge, pins and needles for most of my life. So now I'm like, I want to be safe, stable, predictable. I like that shit. And so you guys could be like that too. So instead of straddling between, ooh, let me be crazy, live in la vida loca, or let me be boring AF, you're like, I'm gonna be boring AF. Or you're just picking a side. You're starting to see like what is more you instead of trying to do what everyone thinks that you should be doing. And I really like that for you guys. So we have the fool's embrace. You guys are embracing change. You're embracing the test, the initiation, and you guys are passing with flying colors. Comment down below. I am passing this test with flying colors. I'm also seeing that you guys are getting an upgrade in your aesthetic, whether that's from you guys working out, buying a new wardrobe, changing your hair, you guys are getting an upgrade from being kind to yourself. So maybe you guys normally like overanalyze and you're very brutal with yourself and you're becoming the magician and you're staying on course with being the magician. And because of that, God's like, okay, let's let's bring in, you know, the, the fairy godmother with the magic wand and you're gonna be feeling very confident from the inside out, a confidence that you truly deserve. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. You guys are also realizing when it's time to replenish. Okay, somebody needs to hear that. You guys are realizing when it's time to pump the brakes. Um, you guys are going to be feeling a lot of love during this period, even though you might know there's a lot of people that don't F with you, even though, and these are your enemies, obviously. Um, I feel like even though you know there's people that don't like you, you're going to be feeling extremely loved. You're going to be over, you're going to be feeling like this overwhelming feeling of like, oh my gosh, I have plenty. Oh my gosh, like, I'm so grateful. Like the gratitude that you have is like, oh, an overflow. Like it's on overflow. It's on overload. You're like, dang, I never felt this grateful. I want to feel like this forever. So comment down below. I am in a gratitude. I am in an echo chamber of merriment. I am in an echo chamber of gratitude. If you guys felt like before you had disowned yourself, you were so frustrated with yourself. You guys are now consoling yourself and reconciling things. You're transmuting this pain. You're transmuting this failure instead of harping on it or wallowing in it. 
or making yourself more upset. I'm seeing someone here in like deep thought, deep prayer, meditation. I'm seeing a lot of feathers. We have rest and renewal, the garden of Venus. I'm telling you, this is a, you're going to feel like your whole life is a garden of love. And even though there's Decepticons trying to wave you down and pop up from the corner of the room, it's like, you're not going to care. They're always going to be there. As long as you are the goat, as long as you are chosen, a light worker, a star messenger, star seed, whatever you guys resonate with, there's always going to be haters in the back trying to get your attention. Okay. Cause the, the what? The devil's a liar and so are his friends. You guys are removing the thorns. You're taking every moment, every single moment throughout your day as teachability. You're taking it as a, oh, this is a lesson. I understand now. So like I got my download and if I wasn't meant to give it, I probably wouldn't have been given it. And instead of like saving it for another day, I was like, you know what? We're going to do it right now. We're going to do it right now. It's an opportunity. You guys are starting to see opportunities completely differently. Okay? Completely differently. You guys could be seeing 444, 777. You guys could be a life path six. Someone here could be a life path, life path eight. angelic guidance your angels are guiding you and protecting you on your journey you guys feel that right now more than ever you guys feel that right now more than ever so i feel like you guys have changes in your first house and your 10th house okay so you guys are seeing opportunities for your aesthetic your self-worth your confidence um your physical appearance and you're making changes to that. And you guys are also getting a lot of guidance and opportunities in your 10th house where you're working and trying to look at your work ethic in a different way. Let's see if we get any other messages for you guys. We have the high priestess. Told you guys, whoever I'm speaking to, you're the goat. You're a tarot reader. You're very intuitive. And something that you are being gifted right now is a new beginning in your psychic abilities. Like you're really on, you're really on to something and I'm so excited for you. We have the mushroom and I love this because people be tripping on you, right? Tripping, sipping and pointing and staring and that's completely fine. You know just what to do with it. Comment down below. I am the walking love spell. I am the galactic mushroom. People be tripping over you, staring at you, gawking at you, breaking their necks to see what you're doing. Someone here could have the initial O or L, okay? O or L could be in your initials. If it is, let me know in the comments. That could also be the initials of a spirit guide. We have the bat. And whenever I see the bat, I think of transmuting pain and failure into a limitless future. You guys are ready to fly away. You're the phoenix rising. So someone here could really like comic books or... Batman, any of the Batmans. Mine is the first Batman um, from like Michael Keaton. And I love Christian Bale as Batman, BT dubs. And then we have the Trojan horse. Someone here could really like that movie with Brad Pitt or the people that were trying to hide in this horse are being illuminated to you. So maybe there were like a couple little stragglers of Decepticons that you weren't really seeing clearly and you were doing nice things for. Well, you're starting to figure out the rest of the people that were in this plan. So that is the veil being lifted for you. You're going to be seeing some of this in the dream state. Some of this you guys are going to be hearing about. And then others of you, this is going to be something in the dream state. You guys could like the movie Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. And what I'm getting from this is there's a lot of eyes on you and even though there is it's because of the power that you hold you guys know how like in lord of the rings it's this this ring that holds all of this power and it's it can really turn people into like bad people because they have this thirst for this power you guys have a power over people that it's hard to explain because you're out of this world and it's that way for a reason so you can help the collective so right now, 
you guys, for the first time, your cup runneth over. The overwhelm and the plenty and the gratitude and the miracles is running over and over and over and over. You guys are looking younger. You guys are a unicorn. Comment down below. Magic is all around me. I'm also getting stallion. Someone here could listen to Megan the stallion or you're just a wild one. And you're bringing that wild side back into your life to not shake things up, but just to know like, hey, I can have fun. Like everything doesn't have to be so, you know, like whatever. <laughs> we have B. Somebody here could have the initial B in their name. We have a little dog. Told you guys, they wanted your power. Whenever I see this together, this is definitely the Wizard of Oz. Okay, they wanted everything. They wanted your little dog too. This is what's being um, illuminated to you in the dream state that like they really wanted it all. They wanted the respect that you were getting, the love that you were getting, the attention that you were getting, um, the people that were, you were treating, the people that were treating you well, they wanted them to respect them and not you. So I'm getting that too. People are really, really trying to take attention away from you. Someone here could be the siren. Someone here could be eating vegetables or a salad. Uh, maybe you're making salsa. I'm getting like the little mermaid. So someone here could really like mermaids, but I'm getting that you are realizing the power of your voice and that you don't have to say a lot. You don't have to do all this and all this barking to blow the roof off of this. You know what? Like you really don't. And so you're starting to show people like, and what? Like you're really starting to show people that you're not intimidated. You're getting really good at blocking out the noise. We have the owl. Owls could be very significant. Cats, like magical kind. Not like regular smegular cats. I mean like magical cats, like Alice in a Wonderland type of cats. You guys are the caterpillar realizing your opportunities and you are ready to fly away. You are turning into the butterfly. So we have the owl knows. You're just gonna know. You're gonna have psychic knowing that you're in the right place. Um, there are certain signs and synchronicities that will tell you whether it's deja vu, a bird's feather, whatever signs and synchronicities you guys normally see, you're going to be seeing a lot of that at this time. I'm also getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you're electric. And maybe a new sign for you when you're really on point is going to be lights flickering. I'm telling you guys, your power is being amplified and it's affecting electricity, things that are elect electric. Dang. Wow. You guys are learning how to mind the business that pays you. You guys are learning how to be very direct, but you're also learning how to spot a fake empress. Because of the people that you've just recently had to cut off, the people that you've recently had to cut off, the people that have just been illuminated to you that were hiding in the Trojan horse, now you can spot a fake empress that's pretending to be someone like you or fake emperor better than ever. Better than ever. Dang. You guys are turning on beast mode. They want more money than you. What did I tell you guys? They want it all. They want it all. Anything that you got that looks like it's great, they want that. The town. You guys are the talk of the town. People are going to be speaking your name everywhere. And that's what it's supposed to be. That might terrify you. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready for that type of attention. But if you are chosen, and if you are a star messenger or a tarot reader, and you know this is your divine purpose, people will be talking about you everywhere. Everywhere. So there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of gossip and speculation around what you do, who you're dating. Um, it's like you guys are going to be a celebrity of some kind. Okay, however you guys would like to define that, you guys are going to be a celebrity of some kind. Whether it's in the spiritual community, whatever industry you're in. There were people that paid spies, that paid others to spy on you or get information out of you, that is being illuminated. Those people are about to wish they not never paid for that, that they not never bribed or 
conned people into watching you or spying on you. So somebody here is going to be finding that out. Dang. Look, we got tarot reader. Maybe there's other tarot readers that are watching you and you can feel this. Maybe there's bigger, bigger tarot readers than you that are like, what are they? Who do they think they are? There's plenty. You guys know that there is plenty for everyone to have some. Plenty of attention, plenty of eyes, plenty of views, plenty of monies, plenty of clicks, whatever it is. You guys are seeing like, I'm rising above this. Like I'm not gonna sling mud with all the karmic farm animals, all the fake empresses, all the fake high priestesses. Somebody has a boss that's been doing dirt behind the scenes. This could be the person you're having a dream about. Anything else for the collective? Anything else for the collective? This is why you're going to be moving on. This is why it's being revealed. They might be trying to make amends with you. You guys know what time it is. They secretly hate you. So you guys are just going to, you're going to move on. You're going to move on. We have Spider-Man. Oh, you guys are getting really good at being able to move fast, whether it's shape shifting or knowing which hat to put on in your life. You guys are getting really good at that. And you're getting really good at manifesting, calling back your power. Somebody could have the initial why. Let's see, we have another unicorn. We have the minions from Despicable Me. So somebody's minion is going to be telling you some of their secrets, like why they've been spying on you, um, what they've been watching. Somebody's lips are not sealed. So somebody's going to be airing out somebody's dirty plan. Dang. Oh, okay, I get it. So someone's going to be stuck in their web of lies. Whoever this person is that's needing direction, they're about to get caught in their own web of lies. Can I have one more for the collective? Because I guess like normally this person can talk their way out of things. There's something that they're not going to be able to talk their way out of. Can I get one more for the collective? Mountains. Know that you are protected as you face challenges. You are learning to remain cautious, not paranoid, but cautious. I'm going to say that again. Know that you are protected as you face challenges and remain cautious. So we have the mountain. And then underneath that, oh my gosh, we have the eagle. You will soar towards your destiny, your greater, with greater, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you will soar towards your destiny with great clarity and strength. There we go. I love that. The eagle is really important. Ooh, also life path nine, 22, 22, 11, 11. Someone here could be 59 or 52 years old. But it doesn't matter what your age is. You guys are feeling young. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. These people aren't going to know how to act. Yeah. You're about to fly and soar over it all. Someone here could have a eagle spirit animal. Eagle spirit animal. And um, I feel like that eagle watches over you. Someone here could have recently been outside hiking or walking or golfing and seen an eagle. If that is you, let me know. And what else? Oh, there's my dice I was looking for. Okay, let's see if there's anything else going on. If this is gonna affect any other houses or aspects. Your 11th house. Okay, that makes sense. So as your reputation is shifting and you guys are the talk of the town, people are, become, they're, they're, um, they're getting uncomfortable. They're getting really uncomfortable. You guys have people around you that are like, they're going through all this change and to them, it seems drastic. Like all of the change that you've been going through in your glow up seems so drastic to them. But at the same time, you guys look 
more comfortable in your role than you ever have. Okay, you guys look more comfortable in your role than you ever have. Let me grab my chart. Hold on one second. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is going to affect um, like-minded people similar of similar interests. And so this has to do with your self-expression or group expression and social life and friends. So this is why these people are being illuminated to you, the ones that are hiding in the horse still, the ones that have been getting away with certain things. Your spiritual vision is changing. And you're learning how to let go of being compulsive. You're learning the difference between a lot of different things that can help keep you calm. So there has been drastic change for this transformation to be brought in. And now you're looking at your power in a different way. So I really like that for you guys. That's awesome. Changes in your ninth house as well. So what I'm getting for you guys is the way that you guys communicate. Um, this is why your abilities are being amplified. So your intellectual framework, um, your higher mind, how you guys travel. So someone here is going to be teaching and educating, getting a different education. Maybe some of you guys are going to be planning a vacation to learn different things. So that's exciting. Wow. Yeah, someone here is definitely going on a trip and then you're going to be figuring out that you traveling has something to do with unlocking parts of your gifts. Wow. We have 415. Okay. 415 is your guys' angel number. If that means anything to you guys, drop it below in the comments. Wow. You're going to be getting a lot of ideas on things that are going to help you grow. Whether it's getting a mentor, going on a trip, eating certain foods, doing certain things. Like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads. So you might want to get a journal or some scratch paper. But I'm definitely getting there's a lot of eyes on you because of the opportunities that you're gaining. But they can't do anything about it. So ha <laughs> ha. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, you guys, let me know what's going on in the comments. Don't forget to smash the you know what. If you're new here, thank you for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. All my A1 day ones, I freaking love you guys. Our soul tribe is growing. I'm so, so grateful. If you guys are looking for pick a cards specifically, I post those on Patreon and I post there every weekend. And that link is in the description box. Don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.